here today. I hope you don't mind him hanging out with us. He likes the camera, doesn't he? Anyway, um, you might recognize this guitar. It's one of those Hona AS355BK guitars I did a video on, which went out of stock, uh, but I found another source for a few more of these, so I bought up uh, um, a few of these. These are really, really excellent guitars. Um, bes besides, apart from being black uh, with lacquer, they are solid spruce top guitars, good quality mahogany, fully bound, uh, very well made and good sounding guitars and I'm just stunned by um, how well they show up. I mean, I have to do very little adjustment on these and they're very consistent out of the box. I mean, you, you talk about Alvarez and y Yamaha being consistent. Well, every one of these I've got out um, has been very, very good and required very little work. And the people that have bought these have just been thrilled with them the in the price range. So I've got a few more. I want to do a video about accoutrements or um, the way guitars are dressed out or styled out, detailed out if you like, uh, whether it's necessary. You'll notice that this guitar is bound. Some guitars are not bound. Uh, the binding does help with uh, structural integrity. So uh, depending on the wood used, the binding can be very, very useful. Uh, this is also has a bound neck. Uh, where the binding goes all the way up the neck. Sometimes it goes around the headstock, not on this one, just on the neck. It has the side dots, but also the binding down the neck um, should help to uh, keep the fret ends from sprouting out, um, from protruding out and getting sharp and cutting your hands. It's not always the case. I've often had to do fret end jobs uh, on guitars with binding, so it's not a foolproof met method, but it often provides a little extra uh, at the end of the uh, fret ends, the, the frames are cut slightly shorter to where you don't get that sprouting. Um, but it's not necessary. There are a lot of class guitars that are made without uh, the neck binding. Um, the rosette is, uh, of course, a um, usually an aesthetic part of the guitar. Sometimes the rosette is inlaid and it can be a part of the structural integrity as well. Um, but often they're painted on or uh, stickers of some sort. Um, only on the top guitars are they usually inlaid. This one's got some uh, abalone inlaid to it. Um, it's got a neck heel on this one, which is not necessary but nice. It has the strap locks, not necessary, but most people use a strap on an acoustic guitar this size, so it's nice if it comes with that. Um, Lastly, the tuners. Now, I really like the tuners on this. They are fairly standard brass tuners, but I really like what companies are doing now with these rubberized caps. Um, I just think it feels better in the hand. They don't rust as easily. Uh, I like the look. So I'm pleased to see a lot of uh, companies now going with rubberized tips on the keys. Um, it's such a thin rubber, it almost feels painted on. But this one in particular is not plastic, it is a rubber material. And I just think it works really, really well. So, um, but of course that's not uh, necessary either. You, sometimes you get the, the straight die cast chrome tuners and they, it, and they often work just fine. The tuners are the thing that most players who are looking to upgrade their guitars change out first. Um, these are very low, low ratio, cheap tuners. Um, you can get much higher quality tuners like Grover's uh, and upgrade the, your guitar with that. Um, better tuning stability, better uh, um, pitch to turn uh, ratio. A lot of people also upgrade the nut and the saddle uh, when they buy a guitar to a tusk or a bone uh, or a graphite um, because a lot of guitars come with plastic nuts and saddles, not all. Uh, but a lot do. So there are some things that you can upgrade. It's not absolutely necessary and you're not always guaranteed better sound, although uh, usually when you see a guitar with a bone saddle and nut, uh, it does tend to have better sustain. Uh, same with um, tusk and um, graphite nuts and saddles as well. But I've had some guitars with, with plastic nuts and saddles that actually sound quite good. Um, so whether or not you upgrade a guitar is completely up to you. Sometimes it enhances the performance. Sometimes it just enhances the value or 
the durability of the guitar, particularly with uh, a tuner upgrade. But all these other accoutrements like the, the uh, inlaid and the binding, um, sometimes they can uh, uh, add to the stru structural integrity of the guitar, but a lot of times they are purely aesthetic. Uh, same with things like back seams, center seams. Now this is probably two pieces of wood. Uh, but they've chosen not to have a visible seam. They've just um, painted it black and lacquered over. You can't see any seams either uh, across the uh, center seam of the ribs. Uh, sometimes these things are made evident, sometimes they're not. Um, so, you know, a lot of people put a lot of uh, emphasis on the ephemeral uh, qualities of an acoustic guitar. I'm just trying to educate people as to what is absolutely necessary and what are just style or aesthetic choices. Um, you know, basically, I still hold to the uh, idea that you pick it up and play it and go with your instincts. That's, what, that's really the best guide uh, for buying a guitar. Some of these things are nice extras, uh, but really the wood, the craftsmanship, the joinery, and the feel, and the tone, the sound, uh, how, um, you know, you feel while you're playing with it are all, all the most important determinants. Uh, best not to get caught too much up into uh, the other details. So I just thought I'd do a video on that because I get asked about it a lot. Do guitars need uh, binding up the neck? Uh, are guitars that aren't bound, body bound, um, you know, not as durable? Um, you know, so this information needs to get out. I recently played an all mahogany, solid mahogany top guitar without any binding anywhere on the guitar at all. And it felt secure, solid, uh, well built, and it sounded great. Um, so, you know, there are lots of variables and nuances in all these things. But best of all is you pick up a guitar and you like the way it feels and plays. See you next time.